Hey Brooks, it's late. I just watched your video. It's almost 2 a.m. here. Um, I think that it comes from stress, like you said. Any kind of irrational fear, I think, comes from personal stress because of something that we're not saying, something that we're feeling inside that we're not expressing. And that something is just a combination of every single thing that we keep inside. And the fact that you just opened up about it and put this this idea that you articulated this 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 emotion and this feeling like I felt the feeling, I felt the nausea. I felt it. I feel it still. You've 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 spread this to everyone. Everyone's able to understand it and feel it and empathize. And and that's that is what overcoming fear is is opening up our our own fear to people opening up our own emotion and our own our thoughts and I bet now the next time you're in that situation where you're out there where you're outside and you start to get nervous or you start to get nauseous Something will something will happen in your mind. There there will be some sort of recollection or some sort of clarification or readjustment, but that you will, you know, feel almost that release of tension when you remember when you realize that there's nothing wrong with being nervous about being outside, being agoraphobic or xenophobic. Was that fear of people? Or, I'm, I mean, I'm horrified of heights. And last, last February at Joshua Tree, I forced myself to climb. I was paralyzed with fear at one point, and I just, I couldn't move. I just, I couldn't move, and I just forced myself. I just jumped, and I stumbled, and I scraped up my hands, but we, we always can force ourselves because we always have control. You have control. As I now see from that video. We own our perspective. We own our reality. We control it. We make the decisions. Nothing else. I'll see you later.